What's poppin' people? In today's video, I'm gonna go into one of my subscribers' stores and pretty much just do some fixin'. Let's get right into it. I got my laptop right here, got my hammer right here, and then finally, whenever you're fixing any Shopify store, you always need some milk. Here we are right now on the website, gamerhubshop.com. Right away, I really like the color scheme because I feel like that fits gamers, which is really good. But uh, it looks like your pricing is in Canadian dollars. So go into Shopify and switch the default to US dollars. We're just gonna put these notes in a Microsoft Word document and then we'll send it to the guy when we're done. So I'm gonna put switch from Canadian dollars to US dollars. And also, this is gonna help you out so much. Take your product images and put them on a website called Clipping Magic. With Clipping Magic, pretty much all you do is you take the green and red tool and it lets you remove the backgrounds from your images so fast. Watch this, I'll just do an example for you. So I'm just putting the green tool right there, then the red tool right there, and the background's gone. And then you just save the image. And on a website like yours, it's gonna look so much cleaner not to have these white backgrounds. Also, the layout is pretty weird. Like the color scheme is perfect, but I would switch over to just the default debut theme and then put this color scheme on the debut theme. That way, your store, that that combined with Clipping Magic is gonna make your store look so good. I really like these uh, secured and trusted checkout with because it's the perfect amount. I feel like a lot of people go overkill with this. Then there's like 10,000 icons all over the screen and it just looks super spammy, so that's really good. So what I'm gonna do is add this to cart, and let me quickly look at the description. All right, shipping is two to four weeks. It's really good that you mentioned that. With this theme, it's kind of hard to see that, but let me check in the cart to see if it also says the same thing, because you wanna make it very clear that it's gonna take two to four weeks for shipping. It's good how you have your standard shipping set to 16 to 35 days. However, $9.99 is a lot for shipping considering you're not doing the free plus ship model. And although the prices on your headsets are still pretty good, what I would do is take this headset that you have here, for example, and make it, 20, any, make it $19.99 or make it $24.99. Totally up to you. Don't go higher than $24.99. And then with your shipping, either make, make it like ridiculously low cost, like $1.95. On AliExpress, I'm, I'm not this specific headset, another one in your store I looked at. I know the headsets are about like $9 to $12. So what I would do is just price your headset between $19 and $24, and then charge anywhere from like $195 all the way to like $395 for shipping. Because when people see a shipping cost that's that low, you're not going to lose a lot of people at the checkout if your shipping is only like a dollar or two. Something optional that you can do with your shipping is switch the word standard to something just, I don't know, fancier sounding. So Premier or Secured or something like that. So we'll go in here and we'll say switch shipping price to anywhere from $195 to $495. And then make the price, because $14 for a headset of that quality almost comes off as sketchy. Make the price, and make the price of the headsets $19.99 to $24.99, totally up to you. For your categories, rather than just having home and products, I would also just add in one for mouses and one for keyboards, just to make it a little bit easier for people who come over to your site. So something you can do to get a little bit more profit from each customer would be adding an upsell. And the reason, and upsells aren't good for every store. A store like this, for example, I feel like if you're gonna buy a mouse, a great upsell would be a mouse pad. So for example, this mouse right here, and yeah, this is gonna look so good when you Photoshop that white background out. It's gonna blend in with your site so nice. But if someone's gonna buy a mouse, how good would it be if right underneath that mouse, you use an app called Personalized Recommendations or something similar to recommend a mouse pad that kind of matches that. So what I would do is I would get a designer. Either you can get a designer from our form, just go to jointhewolves.co, we have a bunch of designers on there, or just go on or even someone on Fiverr might be able to do this. But what I would do is take this pattern that you see right here and pretty much just have them make a design just of those lines and then upload that design onto a mouse pad. 
So with print on demand, you can also put mouse pads into your store. You just upload the design and then you're able to then put that custom mouse pad into your store. So imagine if someone's buying this mouse and then right underneath that, the recommended item from the personalized recommendations app has the matching mouse pad for like 10 bucks. So I'm going to put that in the notes. Use personalized recommendations app with a print on demand mouse pad service. And you can even go as far as doing like t-shirts if you want, but t-shirts would be stretching it a little bit. So I would say stick to just the mouse pads for now. Oh, and um, laptop covers. With print on demand, you can also do laptop covers. So I'm gonna put mouse pad and laptop covers. Cause I know you can do laptop covers as well with print on demand. The product reviews part that you have over here not only does it not work, but I don't feel like it enhances your store. You can definitely add in more social proof with reviews, but doing it in this way, I don't make, I don't feel like it enhances your store in any way. And then the sale thing that you have up here in the, at the top of your website, I love the colors of this and like how smooth and how clean it looks on your store, but make it something more specific. So for this header area over here, what I would do is just make it say like mouses, 30, 30% off and put a specific time range. So like January 26th through the 29th, for example, that adds a little bit of urgency, which could help you potentially convert more sales. And then finally, this guy wearing the virtual reality mask, because you don't sell virtual reality masks, it just, although the guy's shirt kind of matches the theme, which looks kind of cool, I still think it looks a little bit stock. So what I would do to actually create a sense of community vibe around your store is I would use like a gaming competition image as your background or even maybe a slideshow of them. So I'll bring up an example right now. Yeah, so something like these images that I have right here on Google. I just typed in gaming competition. But if you could find one that has like a color scheme that would fit your store, like something like that, it's congruent to the vibe of your store if that makes sense. So I would take an image like this and put that as the background instead. So I'm gonna put switch home page background to a gaming competition image. Other than that, I think you're in a pretty good niche. Cleaning up your theme with the tips that I gave you and the little conversion strategies that I gave you, what all these changes that I've recommended for you are gonna do is it's just gonna make your store not have any red flags go off in people's heads. Because people are used to things being relatively a certain way when they go shopping online. So if your store doesn't fit in with that way, it makes red flags go off in people's heads and it kind of makes them just leave your website because they get a little bit sketched out. By using all those changes that I gave you here, I think that's going to help your conversions and it's going to make less people bounce from your store from being sketched out. Other than that, I think you have a decent product, you have a good price point, and now all you have to do once you make these changes is just make sure you're putting the product in front of the right people. That is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. So what I'm gonna do now is save this Microsoft Word file and then send it back over to the guy who submitted it through our group chat. Just go to jointhewolves.co and you'll be connected to our group chat right away. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.